There are two things that you need to focus on if you want to be successful in sales. Only two things. The first and foremost is you must believe, and the second, you must be willing to pay the price. When I talk about belief, I'm not talking about I believe in the company, or I believe in the industry, or I believe in the products, I believe in my leadership. I mean in internal belief. I find it particularly frustrating when I bring people into the business to be professional salespeople, and they struggle and they fail. When I see the potential, when I see the capacity, it drives me absolutely crazy when they don't step up, when they don't use their capacity when they don't use their potential and they float along. And I don't know if this is a problem within society. There's so many people floating through life, accepting the status quo, not putting in the effort, not standing up for what they believe in, not sort of establishing their place. And this belief is a core belief. It's a, a confidence you have about who you are and what you do. I've read a number of books in different languages and in each title of each book, there is that word passion. I think passion is the definitive difference between people who are good and people who are great. Am I great? I hope so, but I'm not sure of that. And I don't really want to talk about that, but I understand that if I can tap into my passion, if I can be really clear about what my intent is, I'm much more effective. You know, I'm a coach, I'm an international trainer, I'm an author. When I'm at my prime, when I am doing exactly what I should be doing, that passion comes out, that enthusiasm comes out and people get it. They get me, they get the message. You know, something I've always worried about since I first became an advisor, then became a manager of advisors and so on and so forth, is I wanted to put in the hands of the people I coach, what do you say and what do you do in any given situation? And in the hands of my clients, I want them to be in the best possible position. I want to make a difference in their lives. And so that's the enthusiasm I bring to what I do. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that your belief is there, that you understand who you are and what your triggers are. You know, I was coaching a person recently. They felt that they were a little too complacent. They felt that they really didn't put in the effort. And I said, well, let's talk about what you value, what you stand for, you know? And when you get close to what you value, that in my case of making a real difference, of adding value, of helping people, you become very effective, you become very passionate, and you become very attractable. People want to deal with you. People want to work with you. Why? Because you've got that enthusiasm. And so you've got to believe in yourself. You know, there's so many people I run into that give themselves these stories about how inadequate they are, or ineffective they are, or that they don't care, that they don't work hard, that they're not good people. That's not the case. But that's what they're telling themselves. And that story that they tell themselves becomes their reality. I would not ever say I'm perfect. I am not perfect, but I am improving. You know, there's those three words I live by that I feel blessed because I'm late 70s. I feel blessed because I'm healthy. I feel blessed because I'm surrounded with people I care about. You know, I feel grateful because I have people to love and I have people who love me and I'm thriving as a human being. It's not about what anybody else is doing around me, it's about me being better and better, taking myself into account. So this belief thing that is so critical to your success is you gotta give yourself positive messages. You have gotta tell those negative messages, however they come to you, wherever they come from, to shut the hell up. and start feeding yourself with positive messages. Start becoming passionate about who you are and what you do and why you're doing it. So you've got to believe. And if you don't, who will? And then finally, what you need to do is you need to think about the price you have to pay. I'm in the financial services business. I've been in this business for some 37 years of working as an advisor, a manager, being responsible, training and development, running courses all around the world, training, you know, 175,000 people, writing books and all of that stuff that immersed me in the business. And what I've realized about this business, it's tough, man. First, whatever you do is open to criticism and you get lots of rejection. You call people wanting to offer what you have to offer and they say, no, no. What if I say no? No. No, I say no. Without knowing you, without knowing what you offer, they say no. And that rejection 
you can take that personally if you choose to. After a while, I chose not to. After a while, I realized they're not saying no to me. They're saying no to their situation. They're saying no to their reality. They're saying no because of their financial situation, because of their ego or their lack of love or lack of responsibility. Whatever the reason the no is often had nothing to do with me. So the price you have to pay in this business is to work hard. Because in the financial services business, we take our products to the marketplace. There's no one knocking on our door saying, let me in, let me buy. Now, does it happen? Yeah, it does happen, but very seldom. Most often, we're the ones knocking on people's door. Saying, let me in, let me help, let me improve your situation. Let me add value into your life and to those people you care about. Let me protect you along the way. And that price we pay on a daily basis. Because when we do well, everybody within the company, within our team, knows that. And when we don't, everybody knows that. And so what we want to think about is, if we truly want to be in this business, if you're in this business and you're struggling and you truly want to be successful, then you've got to pay the price. And it's hard work. It's long hours. It's a profession. It is not a freaking job. It's not something you can play at and expect to be successful. If you're casual about your learning in this business, if you're casual about your processes, you'll be acting like an amateur and you'll be paid like an amateur. You want to be paid like a professional? Don't act like an amateur. You know, learn this profession. There's a lot to learn, not only the products and all that, but how do we interact with people? How do we compassionately, ethically, emotionally, intellectually deal with their objections. Help them understand what we're doing. Help them understand how much we care. You know this phraseology you've likely heard me say before, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. We as financial advisors have to show our customers that we care. And we as financial managers have to show our team members we care. Because if you care and they see that, they'll buy you, they'll buy what you offer, they'll buy your products, and you'll make a difference. So again, you want to be successful? Pay the price and believe. Now, I'm building this channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like what you've seen. Ring the bell so that you're reminded next time I'm producing a video. And I look forward to any comments you have that I could respond to and include in future videos. Wishing you the best. Please believe. Pay the price. Thank you.